Hi, I'm Ima, and welcome back to one of my videos. Today is one of the most exciting days for my parents. Actually, the most exciting day, because Azami is graduating from MIT. And you know, three years ago, we were doing videos for Azami about how he got into MIT, him opening this over to. You guys remember that? And originally, he was going to be the class of 2023. But Azami is an amazing guy. And even going to MIT, one of the most prestigious universities in the world is not enough for him because he graduated in three years and he's on his way to his master's in this next year. So originally he was going to be class of 2023, but now, like me, high school, he's class of 2022. And so me, my mom, and my dad are here in Boston to uh, see his commencement uh, ceremony. Uh, unfortunately, my siblings couldn't make it. Uh, my siblings are in California, uh, or they're busy, uh, or uh, they just have work. And they are not able to come. I know, like, like Asma, he's the manager of an ice cream shop, and he is totally busy right now. With everything that's going on right now. But I'm excited to be here because next door, because I'm going to be here right next door at Harvard. So this is truly exciting for me and in four years or maybe three years I'm going to experience the exact same thing. But today we're here for a zombie. So we've got the flowers. Uh, my dad was telling me I need a tie so maybe we're going to go into the bookstore and get an MIT tie. I hope it's not too expensive and we'll cast off to Killian Court for the ceremony. Okay. I see. Close. Thanks. <laughs> I forget about that. Yeah. You need someone with a scanner in the middle. You know, when I was looking at Harvard Instagram page, I saw that for their commencement ceremony, they just put fold up tables, I mean fold up chairs, instead of having it at like a, a stadium, like uh, Stanford did. And I was like, huh, that seems like kind of low octane for a prestigious university, but now I'm thinking being here. This is a, re a really amazing thing to set up. There is a lot of thought that goes into this, and I can't plan parties anymore. I, I plan a lot of parties, so like, whenever I go somewhere, I can't stop to think. I can't but help but stop to think. Like, a lot of work went into doing this, like setting up where the people are going, setting up all the tents, all the chairs, making sure that the security check-in works the way it does. That in and of itself is a feat, and. It's just amazing how everything is here. So anyway, now we're in Killian Court. We got uh, checked in, uh, and now we're just waiting until the commencement ceremony starts at 10. And I think I'm gonna stop over there because I wonder what's over there. Looks like they're handing out water. Great, do it. <laughs> I asked her, I asked her where we could find MIT ties, even though um, I already knew where we could find them, because you know, information center.
members of the class of 1971. Now please rise. by Reverend Thea Keith Lucas, chaplain to the Institute, and join the corollaries of MIT in the singing of one verse of the Star Spangled Banner. Good morning. Even as we gather on this joyful occasion, MIT's flags are at half staff to mark our nation's grief for the children and teachers who were killed in Uvalde, Texas. Please join me in a moment of silence for all people who have lost lives and loved ones to violence. And now, it is my privilege to invoke the spirit of this moment. Our dear graduates, I invite you, step fully into this day. Let yourself be immersed in its joy. Wade waist deep into the river of this celebration. It does not matter how you got here, whether you eased your way in, feeling the water by fractions of inches, or plunged headlong, dunking yourself in the experience. We welcome the reluctant and the reckless alike. For you are the world, and the world is yours. 